हाय हेलो हवार यू फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एम डी एस कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट कोरोटला एंड आई एम योर कोच मोहम्मद सोहेल सो फ्रेंड्स इन रिसेंट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द गवर्नर जनरल्स ऑफ इंडिया सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया द गवर्नर जनरल्स ऑफ इंडिया सिस्टम हाज अबॉलिस्ड एंड द लास्ट गवर्नर जनरल वॉज लॉर्ड विस्काउंट कैनिंग सो लेट सी दी वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया द फर्स्ट वाइस रॉय लॉर्ड विस्काउंट कॉनिंग एंड अप टू नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन लॉर्ड माउंट बैटन बट दिस टॉपिक विल बी डिवाइडेड डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टॉपिक्स टू वीडियोज इन फर्स्ट पार्ट टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टुमारोज वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट रिमेनिंग वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया अप टू लॉर्ड माउंट बैटन द लास्ट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट सी दू डे टॉपिक वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक वाइस रॉयस ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस सिस्टम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन एटीन फिफ्टी एट एंड वॉज एंडेड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट सी द फर्स्ट वाइस रॉय ऑफ इंडिया दट इज द लॉर्ड विस्काउंट कैनिंग एंड You should notice one point here that Lord Viscount Can Canning was also the last Governor General of India for three years, and and he reappointed as the first Viceroy of India, Lord Viscount Canning, from 1st November 1858 to 21st March 1862. Okay, friends, and the reforms of pa and policies and administration during the Canning was the Government of India Act. introduced in 1858 by lord viscount canning and the system of budget the budget system was also introduced by the lord canning and the formation of imperial civil services and the formation of imperial civil services also done by lord canning indigo revolt in bengal in 1859 to 1860 was done in the lord canning period enactment of indian penal code in 1860 was also done in the lord canning period indian council act 1861 also done in lord canning period indian civil service act of 1861 it also done in lord canning period establishment of archaeological survey of india archaeological survey of india was established by viscount canning introduced portfolio system which gave the foundation for cabinet system so the cabinet system came from the portfolio system and this portfolio system was introduced by the first viceroy of india lord canning so let's see the second viceroy of india the earl of elgin the earl of elgin he was the viceroy of india from 21st march 1862 to 20 november 1863 for one year he was the viceroy of india he established the three high courts the famous high courts in 1862 the bombay high court the present Bo mumbai high court the kolkata high court the present kolkata high court and the madras high court the present chennai high court these three judiciary higher courts were established by the earl of elgin the second viceroy of india in 1862 this was the administration done by elgin and wahhabi movement the wahhabi movement was also suppressed by the second viceroy of india lord elgin okay friends so let's see the third viceroy of india the third viceroy of india means after elgin the earl of elgin robert napier robert napier was the acting governor general of india he was the acting governor general of india from 21st november 1863 to 2nd december 1863 it means not more than 11 to 12 days he was acted as just the governor general of india viceroy of india sorry so after robert napier again william denson was appointed as the viceroy of india as acting viceroy from 2nd december 1863 to 12 january 1864 nearly one month he acted as the viceroy of india so after these two acting uh, viceroys next viceroy was sir john lawrence beatty sir john lawrence he served as viceroy from 12 january 1864 to 12 january 1869 so the major reforms and policy done by john lawrence was bhutan war bhutan war was done in the period of lawrence 
and the british defeated the bhutan and annexed the and uh, occupied the assam and bengal dars okay friends and establishment of shimla as a indian summer capital in 1863 so sir john lawrence established shimla himachal pradesh capital city shimla as their india's summer capital when in 1863 in john lawrence period and the tabernacle of new dispensation a new church established by keshub chandra sen a new church was also established during the sir john lawrence period by keshub chandra sen and the allahabad high court now the famous allahabad in the present in the up state allahabad high court was also established in the period of sir john lawrence in 1866 and the punjab tenancy act was also passed by sir john lawrence okay friends so let's see the next viceroy of india the earl of mayo the earl of mayo he was the viceroy of india from 12 january 1869 to 8 february 1862 and he was the only viceroy of india to be assassinated by a person in andaman and nicobar islands during his visit to andaman so here see assassinated by a pathan sher ali afridi the pathan sher ali afridi killed him by throwing a bomb on his convoy so the lord mayo died in 1872 so the reforms and policies during his rule as a viceroy mayo started the census program census the, to count the population the mayo started it and the opening of rajkumar colleges so mayo opened the rajkumar colleges in rajkot ajmer for political training of indian princes for indian princes in of rajkumar colleges in rajkot and ajmer he started started financial decentralization financial decentralization was also started by the mayo and enacted ipc amendment sedition act 1872 to tackle wahhabi movement to suppress the wahhabi movement he enacted one ipc act of 1870 to attack the wahhabi movement so after the reform was he established the department of commerce and agriculture agriculture and commerce department was established by whom lord mayo and keshub chandra sen establishes indian reform association as we have seen in earlier keshub chandra sen also established a church in recent john lawrence period so in lord mayo period he formed indian reform association keshub chandra sen so see next governor viceroy of india sir john strake the sir john strake was the acting viceroy of india from 9th february 1872 to 23rd february 1872 meaning 12 13 days he acted as a viceroy of india after john stuck a lord napier the lord napier became the viceroy of india as an acting viceroy so from 24 february 1872 to 3rd may 1872 nearly 3 3 and a half months he acted as a viceroy of india so see the next the lord north book the lord north book was the viceroy of india in full term from 3rd may 1872 to 12th april 1876 so reforms and policies during his rule was jyotiba phule launches the satyashodak samaj in maharashtra in 1873 against the caste system and untouchability so as you know the jyotiba phule Uh, launch uh, the satya shodak samaj was launched by jyoti ba phule in maharashtra in 1873 against untouchability and caste system so during lord lord north book period and the dramatic performance at 1876 was also passed by the lord north book and the kuka rebellion led by ram singh punjab was also happened in the period of lord north book and the trial of gaikwadas of baroda also happened in the period of lord north book so after see the next viceroy of india the lord lytton the lord lytton he was the viceroy of india from 12th april 1876 to 8th june 1880 and the reforms and policies during his rule was great famine of 1876 to 1870 the great famine attacked hitted 
India in 1876-78. At that time, the Viceroy was the Lord Lytton and decreased the minimum age of ICS from 21 to 18. The uh, ICS minimum age was decreased by Lytton from 21 to 18 and the Femaine Commission under Starkey was appointed by him. So, as we know the Starkey was the acted as the Viceroy of India, so Lord Lytton appointed him as the Commission Chairman of the Famine. So Deccan Agarian Relief Act was passed in 1876. Deccan Agarian Relief Act was also passed in 1876 by Lord Lytton. Vernacular Press Act, Vernacular Press Act was also uh, enacted by Lytton in 1878. Arms Act, Arms Act in 1878 was also enacted by Lord Lytton. And the Second Anglo-Afghan War, Second Anglo-Afghan War done in 1878 to 1818, 1880, the, at that time the Viceroy was Lytton. And the first Delhi Darbar was also happened in the period of Lord Lytton. Out of three, three Delhi Darbars were happened. First the Delhi Darbar was happened in Lord Lytton period. In further video, I will tell you uh, the in whom period the second and third Delhi Darbar set up. So next Royal Titles Act, Royal Titles Act in 1876 was also enacted by Lord Lytton. Uh, by this, this act, Queen Victoria assumed the title of the Empress of India. So from this act, Victoria assumed the title of Empress of India. So see the next Viceroy of India, the Marquis of Ripon. The Marquis of Ripon, he was the Viceroy from 8th June 1880 to 13 December 1884. He first factory act in 1881 was enacted by Ripon and the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881 was also enacted by Ripon. Repeat of the Vernacular Press Act 1882 was also enacted by Rod Ripon. Ilbert Bill, Ilbert Bill in 1883 was also enacted by Rod Ripon. Foundation of Punjab University is also by Lord Ripon. Government resolution of on local self government in 1882 it, uh, done in the period of Lord Ripon. Appointment of Education Commission under Sir William Hunter, as we know, the Hunter Commission was also appointed by the Lord Ripon. And the first complete census was also done in the period of Lord Ripon. And the father of local self government in India is also, who is known as the lo local self government in India, father. So who is the father of local self-government in India? The Marquis of Ripon. And see the next Viceroy of India. The Earl of Dufferin. The Earl of Dufferin was the Viceroy of India after Lord Ripon from 13 December 1884 to 10 December 1888. And the uh, policies and reforms were done by Dufferin was formation of Indian National Congress. The INC, Indian National Congress was established in the year 1885 by A.O. Holm, W.C. Banerjee and Annie Besant during the Dufferin period and the Bengal Tenancy Act 1885 was also done in the period of Lord Dufferin. Indian National Congress INC was called as Microscopic Minority by Dufferin. So in the period of Dufferin the INC was formed. So Dufferin called it as the Microscopic Minority. Okay. And the third Anglo-Burmese war, the third Anglo-Burmese war in 1885 was all so done in the period of Lord Dufferin. And, so, and see, the next Viceroy of India, the Marquis of Lansdowne. Lansdowne, he was the Viceroy of India after Dufferin from 10 December 1888 to 11 October 1894. And the reforms and policies were done in his period where Indian Council Act of 1892 was enacted in La Lansdowne period. In 18, 1891, Age of Consent Act in which the marriage of below 12 year girls is prohibited. So below 12 year girls marriages were prohibited under the Act of Age of Consent 1891 the, given by Viceroy Lansdowne. And the Factory Act 1891 was also happened in Lansdowne period and setting up of Durand Commission in India. So we know that India and Afghanistan, uh, we have a border which we call as Durand Line as we know the India-China border McMahon Line like this India-Afghanistan border the line was Durand, Sir Durand. So setting up Durand Commission in 1893 was also done in the period of Lansdowne. So friends in next video I will discuss about, about 
today we have discussed the 1894 viceroy of india and we have to see about 1947 up to the lord mount batten so remaining topic we will cover in next video friends if you like the uh, like this video please subscribe it share it like it and comment it stay home stay safe i will meet you in the next video with the continuation part of it thank you